who oversaw the historic downsizing of the Catholic Diocese of Buffalo, will soon step down. News 4's Lori Schultz is live for you in Buffalo tonight. Lori? That's right, Nalina. You know, the bishop celebrated his birthday with a very special ceremony today here at St. Joseph Cathedral. Now that he's 75 years old, he's required to resign. But in a sit-down interview, he told us it might not be a real quick process. For Bishop Edward Kimmick, there is no finer gift given on his 75th birthday than sharing in the ordination of Father Stephen Jekulek and Father Daniel Serbecki. It's always a uh, uh, peak experience but a little bit extra today because of recognition you know that in, in some time now I'll be my time as the bishop of the diocese will be coming to a close at 75 the bishop is now required to submit his letter of resignation to the pope sending in motion the highly secretive Vatican process of finding a successor the whole process is expected to take several months possibly longer than a year Kimmich's duties will continue until a successor is installed. I'll still be very, very much active in, uh, in doing what I've been doing. We're not letting down in any way, uh, no lame duck or anything of that nature. We have a very big agenda. Kimmich tackled the unenviable task of downsizing the diocese from 274 parishes in 2005 to 170 today. While some Catholics maintain the closings hurt the diocese, the bishop believes it's better than it was. It was difficult and, and, and painful and very, very tough to tell people you're going to be closing their church. And, but nevertheless, I think it all came, came off quite well in, in the end. I think we have stronger, more vibrant parishes. Fathers Jekyllek and Serbaki were the 17th and 18th priests ordained by Kimmich since his arrival in Buffalo in 2004. It could end up being his final ordination as Bishop of Buffalo. There's a wonderful phrase, I've tasted the goodness of the Lord, and I really have. Well, Lori Schultz back live in downtown Buffalo. The bishop was obviously very grateful today to have the Catholics here in western New York. This his 75th birthday. He told us that he will probably submit that letter of resignation in the next couple of days to the Pope. In the meantime, what does the future hold for the Diocese of Buffalo? I'll more on that coming up at the bottom of the hour. Live in Buffalo, Lori Schultz, News 4.